Hello everyone, welcome to Walking the Candy Isle. Once again, I am Jeff, and uh, today I have another post-Valentine's Day 2014 review for you. I thought I was done, and then uh, stopped by the Walmart and saw a couple other things that I just hadn't gotten around to, and they were on super clearance, and I just couldn't pass it up. So um, I'm going to have actually two more reviews coming at you. For uh, right now, we're starting with the Hershey's Marshmallow Heart. Now, why? <laughs> I'm not even sure really why I got this. I guess it's to complete the uh, the seasonal Hershey's, um, <laughs> the the run, the Grand Slam. Um, I've already reviewed the Hershey's Marshmallow Pumpkin, the Hershey's Marshmallow Snowman, and the Hershey's Marshmallow Egg. And, um, you know, I don't know why I think that the Hershey's Marshmallow Heart's going to be any different. This is just the exact same thing that, uh, that Hershey's Canada does. So this is the, you know, it's, it's a marshmallow uh, covered in chocolate. Um, I, I, you know, I like the packaging, it's fine. But uh, I'll, I went and just had a quick look at my past reviews for those other items, those other Hershey items. And I'll say this, I gave them all twos. So, is that a spoiler? I don't know, perhaps. I'm going to guess that this is probably the same thing. So, uh, let's get into it. Um, you know, it's fine. Nicer packaging than the, um, than the marshmallow egg. Hershey's marshmallow heart. You know what, though? At this point, I'm done. Unless Hershey's decides to produce, you know, a marshmallow, what, four-leaf clover for St. Patrick's or something. <laughs> So there you go. It's a heart-shaped, sort of, a little deformed, but that's okay. Um, yup, flat bottom, puffy marshmallow. It's not cracked. That's nice. This is a little weird, right? Does it look a little weird? Maybe. Eh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Why is Cupid carrying the heart? That's a little... I mean, maybe it's a metaphor for something. Shouldn't he have his bow and arrow? Anyway, very happy little Cupid there. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was here oh so recently with the Hershey's Marshmallow Snowman. <sighs> well, it's Hershey's chocolate. Some people hate it. I don't find it, you know, the worst thing in my, I've ever tasted, but it's certainly nothing special. It doesn't make me, like, sick or anything like some people um, complain about on internet or like to complain about on internet quite a lot. But um, that's not really the, the, the most sort of annoying part about this. It's the marshmallow. The marshmallow is just totally bland, candy, yucky marshmallow. I mean, it's not like... Lucky Charms level, but it's it's really kind of gross. <laughs> I mean, just go and get a peep, you know, get some peeps, or um, or for goodness sakes, there are Russell Stover on the market. There are there is going to be at least one competitor that you can find to this Hershey's stuff on the market. That's like essentially the exact same thing: marshmallow and chocolate. Um, the marshmallow is like, it's a little gummy, it doesn't have enough dissolve to it, you know, it's just like, eh, it's just kind of meh, this isn't the worst thing I tasted, but it's, uh, it's nothing, nothing worth, uh, picking up. I think this is something you can pass by in the candy aisle. Don't bother with it. I don't know. Maybe if it's a remainder, I guess, whatever this was, like a quarter. Yeah, whatever. Don't do it. Don't even get it then. It's not worth it. There's just nothing really good, really good about it. Um, yeah. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> As expected, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate the Hershey's Marshmallow Heart a 2 out of 5. Um, for more reviews... Uh, click the links that you see on the screen. Of course, feel free to click those Hershey's links if you want to see other reviews of essentially the same product. Um, and uh, please subscribe. I got new videos coming out all the time, so there's going to be other stuff to check out, certainly. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.